Hi everyone, it's Connie here. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Welcome to my 34 week pregnancy vlog. Um, it is actually late <clears throat> in the 34th week. Um, so I'm about 34 weeks and four days pregnant. And um, yeah, so I'll just get right into it. The baby is about the size of a Savoy cabbage, according to my Ovia app. Um, not sure what a Savoy cabbage is. I don't know how different that is from a regular cabbage, but I don't know. <laughs> These apps are kind of funny when they describe supposedly how big the baby is, but <clears throat> it's about the size of a cabbage and um, he is gaining fat right now and also his liver is um, almost at you know full capacity in terms of development <clears throat> and in terms of um, my symptoms in the last couple of weeks I just have been so so tired and I mentioned this in my last vlog the level of fatigue is just on a whole nother level um, and mainly because I think it's because like I'm like waking up like really at some weird odd hours in the night and um, then when I do wake up I'm wide awake and I can't fall back asleep again um, I've also been having some bouts of insomnia where the whole night I will not sleep I'll basically just lay there with my eyes closed trying to sleep and <clears throat> so it's like been really really difficult to just kind of get through the day because you know, as a pregnant woman, you have to sleep as much as possible, and um, when you have insomnia, it just screws up your entire, just your entire system. And you just like right now, honestly, I feel like a zombie. Um, even making this video, like I'm so scatterbrained, and and I think the insomnia is due to the fact that I am so close to giving birth, and there's just a lot of anxiety about the birth and <clears throat> and the labor and everything and just getting ready for um, this new little human life that's gonna be you know in our lives so it's just it's just a lot um, and not only that I've been sort of running around like a chicken with its head cut off because I have been to three baby showers in the last like month and a half or something um, yeah so I know a lot of my nose is running I know a lot of pregnant women right now and I have another friend who is pregnant Sharon congratulations if you're watching this <laughs> um, I'm gonna be sending you a gift very soon but yeah <clears throat> so I've been running around um, getting gifts for all the baby showers. Um, I have my own baby shower coming up. It's gonna be a very just small intimate little baby shower That's in the first week of December. So I've been um, Making little favors and thank you gifts, you know, thank you for coming gifts and stuff. So um, Just just doing a lot um, and having a lot going on so that's been contributing to you know, just the endless scatterbrainness and then also the insomnia. So, <clears throat> yeah, mainly I'm just feeling so, so tired um, and, you know, having a little bit of insomnia. Um, one of my viewers last time informed me that the sensation that I was feeling when I feel like an electric bolt going on, like down there in the nether regions, um, that sensation is called lightning crotch and I had never really heard of that until she commented um, on that and so I looked it up and yeah it's exactly that that sensation where it's like it just like comes on you out of nowhere and literally it will stop you in your tracks it will make you gasp I've screamed like ah! and it's it's the weirdest kind of uncomfortable painful sort of electrical shock sensation down there um, and so what I've heard is that that happens when the baby's head is down 
um, or down there, like kind of pressing onto your cervix or whatever. But that's not the case for me. I think it's my baby's feet that are doing that um, on top of my cervix because he's breached still. Um, and I know he's breached because I just had my prenatal appointment yesterday. Um, and my, my doctor was telling me that that he's still breached. He's been breached this whole time. And um, sorry guys, I'm a little concerned about that, but my doctor said that he can, there's still time for him to um, be able to, you know, move head down. So um, I'm going to do the best that I can in terms of trying to get my baby head down. Um, I know on YouTube there's a bunch of like, you know, videos on that, like natural ways, exercises, stretches, phys like physical things that I can do. So, um, also I found out at my prenatal appointment that my ba my doctor estimates that my baby is about five pounds, seven ounces. And so that puts him on track to be a high seven pound or eight, low eight pound baby. And that's according to my doctor, but I think that estimate is totally going to be wrong. Um, my stomach is not that big, um, and I was 6 pounds 11 ounces when I was born. I just found that out from my mom when I talked to her a few days ago. And John was not more than 7 pounds, so yeah, <clears throat> I don't think that's right. So um, anyways, we're, we'll be, you know, we'll see when the, the day comes and he's born, but a lot more trips to the bathroom. Like I'm using the bathroom constantly. Just constant pressure on my bladder um, and having to wake up and go to the bathroom. So the next appointment that I have with my doctor, I'm getting tested for group B strep. Um, so that's happening. And also, um, I think they're going to check my cervix. Um, I've been, I want to ask the, maybe the pregnant ladies out there or the moms who have had babies already. My doctor said that he, that the cervical check is kind of painful and, um, he was going to do it, um, the other day when I saw him, but then he decided, uh, I don't think you're, you know, dilating or anything. Um, or having any labor contractions or anything, so I'm not going to check you. So I was like, okay. Um, he's like, yeah, it's painful anyway. It's not really necessary right now. So I don't know. I was thinking that I should get checked, but he didn't want to do it. Um, so I wanted to ask you guys, what was, what has been your experience when you, you know, in your third trimester when the doctor started checking your cervix? Is it painful? I don't know. I please let me know in the comments below. Um, another thing is, is that we finally got the maternity pictures back from the photographer. It took a little while, but he finally got it to us, and I posted a few on my Instagram, but I'll be doing a little slideshow at the end of this video so that you guys can see more of those pictures. Um, another thing is, is that John and I got a stroller, finally. Um, we have our crib, and we set that up. Um, so the nursery slash office is not quite ready yet, so I'll do that reveal later, probably a couple weeks later. And um, I'm also going to do a video on the stroller that we got. Um, and finally, I have been working on my hospital bag um, and also what I'm going to take for baby as well. So I've just been thinking about it a lot. and getting that together and I will be filling out my birth plan and getting that together as well so um, yeah I may do a video on that I'm not sure um, but that's it for my pregnancy update thanks for listening sorry if I'm a little out of it and a little scatterbrained right now I like I said before I haven't been sleeping well so I have been kind of feeling like a zombie <laughs> um, lately so if you have any questions at all um, leave them in the comments below um, also, please let me know about the cervical check. Um, is it painful? I really would like to know. And um, let me know if there's any video requests that you have, like what you'd like to see next. Um, that would help me out a lot. And so, yeah, th thanks for listening to this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!